Hey everyone, this is Vintage Rob 89 here. I'm back and I have another Jurassic World product uh, that is something that is really exciting about this line. Uh, and uh, one of them has been really sought after as well. Uh, and I think all of these are going to be sought after down the road. Uh, I think these are the best electronic Jurassic toys uh, since Kenner, in my opinion. And uh, here we go with it. This is the 2017 Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Sinoceratops by Mattel. Um, I love these uh, Roarivores is what they call them. Roarivores, yeah. Roar Siner si Sinoceratops Roarivores. Um, I really love these. Um, I just think these are what every Jurassic fan wants um, when it comes to electronics. And this is the small range of dinos of what it would have been back in the Kenner days due to the size. And what I really like about it is, is that there's no battle damage wounds on it. Uh, that was something Hasbro did. Uh, looking back on it, it's grown on me during the JP3 era. I think it was... It, w it worked back then. It was the early 2000s. It was Hasbro. They are trying something new. But it still never felt the same. Um, it always kind of worked with the larger dinosaurs, the battle damage. And you just left the electronic dinosaurs alone. And you just used your imagination for battle damage. And I think Mattel got that memo and just left it alone. You get here a nice... Um, I think this is a, a cross between a Triceratops and, and another dinosaur, but you get it. It's nice. The detail is very simple, like the Kenner. Uh, it's I like the colorway. I like the paint. And it makes sound, too, which is awesome. Try it again. So you get a few sounds, which is great, uh, which I really like. They're loud, um, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, and it only runs on three A76 batteries, like the Kenner stuff and what we've been using since the beginning. Um, but what really, really sells me on this is just the simplicity here. Uh, and now, also, they... Also solved an issue, Mattel, that <laughs> Kenner couldn't have done, which is, you can't really see it. I'm going to try my best. I, I know you're not going to be able to see it. If you do, uh, uh, good. <laughs> That's all I can say. But in the back of this packaging, they put the tail in here. So the tail is not fully assembled, and they pretty much put the glue in the, in the packaging bubble uh, to hold the instructions. So I think that was a very awesome part on Mattel. I think it solved issues with Jurassic that we've had since the beginning with the tail bent kink. You won't have this with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because they'll either put it in the side here uh, in a bubble holder as, as you see here or they'll put it underneath the bottom here and you'll and I'll, uh, I'll get into that when I show you one of my grand finale pieces um, and uh, you'll see and I just think it's awesome um, and uh, you know I look at these Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys and it just gets me excited because this is what brings me back to the Kenner days. Um, and it's why these are very good cheap-wise. These are only 11 bucks. That's not really that bad. Um, I can't remember how much JP3 toys were um, or uh, Hasbro Jurassic World line, but I think that's not that bad. And if you're getting this for $11 at Walmart, you're going to eat it up. Because it's Walmart, it's cheap, uh, it, and it's not going to hurt a hole in your wallet. Um, and, and, and that's the other thing I love about this line, too. Uh, very good quality, uh, but not really expensive. And if it is expensive, 
it's worth getting it all, as we saw in the Pteranodon uh, attack set from the Destructosaurs line. I mean, it's worth that top dollar that it's going on eBay, um, or it's worth the 50 bucks because you're getting so much in there. And even if it was $200, I'd still pay it because of what you're getting with it. Um, and I just found out recently there's foot pegs all over the helicopter. Um, so uh, I did throw some of my figures on there. Um, and you, you'll probably, I think you've probably seen it in one of my videos from before. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a really, really cool piece. And, and that's what I really like about this Fallen Kingdom line is because every dollar I've put into it, uh, I've had no regrets. You know, maybe I had to return an item because I'm a picky collector or there's some quality control off. But nothing to bring it down a few grades because this is, I think, the best Jurassic items and quality we will get. Um, I think the Kenner days are long behind us. But this is good for 2019. Um, you know, I wish my, my friends over at Star Wars had the same thing. But, you know, it's not, not that. And, you know, I, I love Star Wars. I'm a big fan of that. But it's peaked... Uh, and there's just so much product out there, so much, uh, and it's going to be with us for a very, very, very long time. But yes, that's all I have to say about this. I will unbox this. You will see this in part two. Um, but yeah, this is the 2017 Mattel uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Cynoceratops Roarivores. So, pick this up. Um, it's just got a lot going on. And also, it has a cool uh, headbutting action, too, when you hit the sound. So, I mean, you can't beat it. Anyways, see you in the next video.